Welcome to the DICOM Terms Review. DICOM stands for Digital Imaging and Communications in Medicine. When you see DICOM focus on the COM part because DICOM is really about communication. It's how medical imaging devices communicate with one another. Application entities are DICOM devices. They can be modalities, PAC servers, CD burners, anything that can send or receive DICOM images. Information object definition. Focus on the word object. What is an object? Merriam-Webster defines an object as something material that can be perceived by the sense. An object is a thing that you can touch and see that is not alive. That's an object. These are information object definitions. DICOM message service elements. The key word in this definition is service. What is a service? Merriam-Webster defines service as useful labor that does not produce a commodity. Transportation is a good idea of a service. It moves an object from one place to another. A DIMSI is a DICOM service. Service, think DIMSI. Object, think IOD. Think pair. When you put two things together, they are paired. By putting a service and an object together, you create a service object pair. Hence the term SOP, service object pair. SCU service class user. This is a DICOM user that needs a service. Service class provider. A service provider who gives services to a user. In DICOM value representations are two letter codes that represent a DICOM coded value. For example, PN is the value representation for a person name. Incidentally, VR is often used to reference a voice recognition system, so the context in which VR is used matters. So when you're talking about DICOM VR, you're talking about value representation. When you're talking about a system in the imaging world and people say, oh, I use VR or I have a VR system, that means voice recognition. So don't get those two confused. Unique identifier. Your social security number is a unique identifier. It's a number that identifies you to a system. In DICOM, a unique identifier is a string of numbers that is not like any other numbers and is tied to a particular service or data object. SOP class. SOP class is named after the object that is involved and the service that is running. Remember, it's the pairing of an object and a service. So, for example, storing a CT image in the PACS archive would be the SOP class CT image store. The object is the CT image. The service is CT store. Thank you.